We learned recently that Mrs. Clark just got her bachelor's degree in teaching. It sounded really interesting, so we started asking around. Our first stop was in the junior high to speak to her son, Coach Rice, who's also a teacher. To talk about that, I gotta start talking about myself a little bit, I guess. Um, but I started teaching here 13 years ago, and a couple years in, uh, my mom was in between jobs, and she decided that uh, she wanted to try to get into some type of education. Um, so I, I got with Miss Campbell all those years ago, and we had an aid position open. It ended up that uh, she gets transferred to the high school. About a year into that, um, she came to me and decided that she wanted to try to go back to, uh, she wanted to go to college. Uh, it'd been about, oh, I don't want to date my mom too much, but um, it was in the 80s that she got her um, GED and she had worked odd and end jobs throughout that time and, and everything. So when she came to me and told me that, I, I told her that it, you know, to be prepared for the work that she's done. I, I was the first in my family to go to college and I was very proud of the fact that she wanted for once to follow in my uh, footsteps. And uh, it did, it, it made me, uh, I didn't expect that. It made me proud of her. And uh, she's worked hard uh, to get there. And all by herself. Um, <laughs> she didn't come to me to, to get her work done. Um, I gave her some encouragement when, when it was getting hard, but um, man, she studied <laughs> a lot more than I did uh, when I went to college. But, um, and she's still got a little ways to go to get her certification and stuff, but um, I think it's an inspiration that, of what she's done. So. Were a lot of sacrifices made on, on the road there? Like, lots of obstacles. Yeah, it, um, she had to, since it had been so long she's going to school, she had to um, take some certain test, and then she was, it, it set her back because everything's changed so much nowadays that she had to take some uh, remedial math and, and things like that because it's changed so much from when uh, she was a kid. So. She took quite a few hours that didn't even count towards her degree. That, uh, you know, she had to work through that stuff. So those obstacles and then just figuring out how to pay for some of it, um, which, you know, student loans and, and things like that, sacrifices made, a lot of late nights on her part, weekends on her part. Uh, the school was very helpful in what they did and allowing her to, to use some of the uh, Computers and things like that because we, we didn't have those. Um, she didn't have one for the longest time. So, what I liked about Miss Clark, how she helped me, um, she helped me with like biology and like whenever I was failing, I always come to the mall and uh, she'll help me out with a lot of stuff. And uh, I appreciate it so much because without her, I would have been in like biology for like three years. Um, she's been going to school for a long time, I think about seven to ten years, and she has, like, she's loved it, but it's been, like, I've seen her stress about it, like, she's like, oh, I have so many tests to do, I, I have so much homework, and I've seen where she's almost missed assignments, but she's always stayed on top of her school, schoolwork, and so I'm just really proud of how, what she's accomplished, and I'm proud that she did it, and she didn't give up on it. Finally. We went to the mall to speak to her herself and hear her story. In 2006, my son asked me if I wanted to come to work at Kaufman High School to help with uh, the special ed students. And I agreed, interviewed for the job, and got it. So when I started working with the students, it just felt so good and so right that in 2008, I went and filed for FAFSA and took a test and entered Trinity Valley College. And from there, I went to a and &M. It just, I could only take like two courses a semester. And because of that, it took about eight years to get it completed. But I got it done, and I graduated in 2016. 
And now I'm going to hopefully go on to get my certifications and be able to start working and teaching students. And that's what I've just feel so good to do.